Hey guys, Jay the Vaven Guy here. Um, you can't see my face. And everybody starts cheering. Yay! Now I'm here to do a review. Uh, I'm not doing a review on a particular device. Uh, I'm actually going to do a review on kind of a how to. Um, how to rebuild one of these. Now you'll notice this is all crimped up, and you'll notice that that's sitting there because I've already done this once and it didn't work because I don't have the right tools because I've never had the right tools because let's be honest, 90% of us at home do not have the right tools. So why show you how to do it with all the right tools when I'll show you how I do it, how I regularly do it, and how most people regularly do it. So, start off with your wire. Now, normally it's a lot more pristine than this, but like I said, I've already done this once. And take your, th your wick and you can double wrap it or you can single wrap it, it doesn't really matter. I like to do a double. And you take your wire like that and you make sure you give yourself enough, you know, lots of space. And that end too. Now, I'm just using just a standard uh, needle there. You can use whatever you want. You take this and you just wrap it and I wrap it relatively tight, you know. I'm not too too particular. And I'm also not too worried about spacing them up because I once I get it onto the atomizer, I usually play with it there. Alright. And unlike everybody else, I don't use a whole ton of wire. I don't see the, the purpose of it, you know. Yeah, okay, it's maybe a little bit easier. But in the long run, it doesn't really make a huge difference. Now I'm using 32 AWG here. And uh, I always give the, the end a little bit of a curl. Just because it makes it easier. In the particular device that I'm using, it'll make it easier to go in. Now, when I'm putting this through, and this, just, just bear with me because it is kind of hard to do this blind. And I'm doing this through the camera, so I'm entirely dependent on what I can see through my viewfinder. have to trim that just a little bit. Now, what's this going to end up uh, oming out to? I am not that good. I kind of, just like everybody else, I play it by ear. I just wait to see how it ohms out. I generally don't know how it's going to ohm out until I get it onto the, uh, the atomizer. Usually five wraps gives me something that's usable and workable, and I don't worry about it beyond that. So I got one through, this one's not going through. Let's see if I can get that one to go through first. All right. All right, that one goes through. That one got through. Push it down. There we go. Into there. Push it down, and I hold it down nice and firm. Now, I usually use my pen knife. I cannot for the life of me figure out where I put my pen knife. I'm just using a regular. That's not working, so let's see. Maybe this will work. Yeah, there we go. Huh, figure that screwdriver to screw in a screw. Who'd have thunk it? Alright. Let's just get that in there. And what the heck? This one here is playing games with me, and I don't have the energy to play with it back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this the other way. There's two ways you can put this in. You can string it through, or you can string it down. So, so I'm going to take my wick. Jam it up a little bit better. I'm going to cut it really short, so just bear with me while I take this off camera. And very quickly, cut it down. See if that's cut down far enough. Yeah, that is. All right, so, no, not quite. It looked like it might have been, but it wasn't. So, cut down just another hair. Guys, hey, 
this is the whole thing, you know, when you're sitting there and people are, you see these these perfect guys perfectly putting together an atomizer, you're sitting there going, but I can't do that. This is how you're doing it. Nine times out of ten, there's a good chance you're doing it the exact same way that I'm doing it. Just friggin' around with it, trying desperately to get it to work. And that's what the average person does. I'm just like you guys when it comes to building these things. They don't like me sometimes, sometimes they just don't want to work right. So, you just gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta work at it until it, until it does. And this is really being a pain. I've never had this much problem, trouble. But then again, I'm also doing this half blind through a monitor. So my sense of judgment is a little judgment uh, distance and whatnot. It's a little bit off. There we go. That's nice and firm. We will run this side. Push that down. Make sure it's nice and firmly seated. There we go. So there we go. Vic is in there. So now this is where you turn around. You take the time to spread out the uh, the wire and stretch it and position it and you know you can take an hour 20 minutes whatever I don't like how that is it's still sitting a little bit too high for my leg dang it grabbing the wrong tool So there we go. I just farted. Yay. And I'm knocking everything over. <sighs> so there we go. One, two, three, four, five. You know, nice. And what I usually do is I'll take my skizzers, figure out how far down I need to go. So I don't go all the way to the bottom, I just need enough to have it go. And usually, you know, within maybe a third of an inch, half an inch, clean it up. So that when it goes down, it stays, well, when it goes down, it stays, you know, just above the threading. Oh, whoops, that went off camera. Sorry, guys. So that'll sit in there nice. Of course, you know, what's the homage of it? Only one way to find out. Screw it onto a Darwin or onto a Vamo or onto something that has voltage readout and 1.7. 1.7 is, is usable. There we go. So there you go. Very badly, poorly done. I'm not going to edit it. Yeah, okay, I farted. Yeah, okay, I screwed it up 17 times from Sunday. But that's how you guys are going to do it. And I figure, hey, if I'm going to do it this way, and everybody else is doing it this way, why do it perfectly on camera? Now, it doesn't always work out. I've had days, literally days upon days, while we're sitting here, let me put some juice on. Um... I just finished doing uh, another one, so let's do one. Du, 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 du. Let's do one gummy candy. This is going to be the juice I'm going to be reviewing uh, tomorrow. Gummy candy. So let's soak this up nice. Whoa. Before I make a mess of myself and make a mess all over my Darwin, just slide that on there. Slide that ring on. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, like, you know what? People are normal. People do things the way that people normally do things, you know. And, and, and we're not perfect, so why pretend or why act as if we are? So, we'll just put some juice in there. Now, you'll see, yeah, right there, my Darwin is dead. 
<laughs> my current one is also dinged up. I mean, I use this thing to death. So just let me take this out and I'll put the Vamo. Ooh, the gummy smells good. I just got a whiff of it in the air. All right, so there we go. That's gonna be way too high, but I don't know if I can bring it down any lower. There you go, and two ohm. And that's probably for me just fi uh, fiddling around with it with my fingers and whatnot. So there you go. There you go. There's uh, there's how you rebuild one of these uh, V3s. I have no idea. A Phoenix V3 or something like that. And again, I've had this for a couple of months, so you can see it's all dinged up and beaten around. But this is what I do all my reviews with. Because again, it's really easy. I don't know if I said this in this version. The reason I use this one, okay, there we have a wet wick. Now, I don't want to do it right now. But when I'm ready to change flavors, fire it up. Catch it on fire. It burns away all the impurities, burns away everything away. And then I can turn around, cap it back up. Bob Junkle. And you know, that's that one there is. Let me think now. Probably about a month old or so. But uh, at the end of the night, before I go to bed, I usually do a, a quick burn of it. So it goes to, so I go to bed with it dry, so it doesn't gum up and dry out or anything like that. And uh, could I have gotten away with this for a while longer? Well, let's just see. Oh, I probably could have. I don't even need to do this. But let's just take a look at this. You know, the, the wick is actually in remarkably great shape. Like there's not normally when you when it's really time to, to replace it that centerpiece is just one solid clump and uh, you know this theoretically if I was really desperate for wire I could reuse that well hello all right so there you go guys that's me Jay the vaping guy that's what it used to be this is what we got now Cheers.